Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and we're back again with another Spirit Island video. Today, we're taking a look at Spread of Rampant Green and their two new aspects. One of the things that made Base Rampant Green unique was how their innate powers were completely divided from each other. Green has always been a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none spirit. At the top tiers of the innates, we would get Defend 4 and 3 damage, which is really not enough to write home about. Really, the power of green was Gift of Proliferation, possibly the best unique power in the game. Uh, but green has two aspects in Nature Incarnate, and each aspect replaces a different innate power. Today we're going to be playing the Tangles aspect, so first I want to draw our attention to the Regrowth aspect. Uh, it's a very silly aspect. You start with 13 additional Destroyed Presence. Uh, in lieu of defend, we instead get to add destroyed presence directly to the board. So uh, if you remember the sacred, the special rule that green has, uh, whenever invaders would ravage or build in a land with your sacred site, you may prevent it by destroying one of your presence in that land. So basically with this regrowth aspect, it says that the only way that we can defend a land is by... Uh, basically sacrificing a presence and denying the Ravage altogether. So, a uh, very uh, goofy way of approaching the game, but definitely a lot of fun. Uh, if we take a look at all the elemental thresholds on this regrowth aspect, we will see that they match the old innate, so your growth and play pattern should largely remain the same. So this aspect is going to be much worse in solo, since it eliminates the Dahan and Defend play pattern and thus you'll produce less fear and have less board control. That being said, I think it might actually be better in an extreme multiplayer setting, uh, extreme difficulty multiplayer setting, since now you have much more reliable access to action skips. And action skips are worth more and more as you raise the difficulty higher and higher. But we're not going to be playing regrowth today, instead we're going to be playing the tangles aspect. So the first thing you should know about the aspect is that it actually comes with a brand new uh, innate power. It's called Belligerent and Aggressive Cops. Uh, crops. One cost, slow, uh, range two from a sacred site, and must target uh, a land with buildings. Add a wilds, deal one damage, and then if there are adjacent wilds, a fear, and do another damage. So uh, at its full power, we get to add a wilds, get a fear, and deal two damage, like kill a town. Uh, so, you know, a good, solid card, especially for just one energy. And this card will be replacing Gift of Proliferation, so we no longer have access to Gift, and that was actually our only way of providing support to other spirits. So now we're a completely uh, self-contained spirit. Uh, we don't have any inherent way to provide support to any other spirit. So between the new card, the more active innate, so now we also get a new uh, innate power, and we can see that it is elementally shifted. So no longer is it a moon plant innate, now it is a sun plant innate. And it is range zero, fast, uh, we get to add a wilds, then push and explore, then isolate the land, and then downgrade a city and add another wilds. So when I look at this, um, I kind of break this up into um, two distinct sections. So the first three is one category, and then the last one is its own category. Um, again, some adversaries, like let's say like England, the isolate is gonna matter, Habsburg is gonna matter, Prussia, it's not gonna matter. Um, but basically we get to deny a build now and we get to deny the next explorer in the future. So this very well could deny two sets of invader actions in a single land. The one that is currently on and the next one that it could go into. Uh, and I keep that all separate and apart from the last tier, which I really see as just a way to end the game. If you're in terror level 3 and just need to get rid of the cities, then downgrading the city will get you there. Otherwise, I don't see a ton of value from that top level innate. 
which is good because it means I don't feel the need to push myself to hit that every turn. Um, more often than not, it's just not going to be useful. Uh, so uh, that's what we got with this new Tangles. Uh, very excited to try it out. Uh, let's get into it. We're going to be playing a random difficulty 8 to 9 with Nature Incarnate included. Okay, we get France level 4. Um, cool. So France is definitely one of those matchups where sometimes you have to sacrifice presence to prevent a build, so that way you don't get the town loss condition. So it's more than just ravages. That's just a green thing in general. But in this matchup, the wilds that we're going to be adding should be a lot stronger. Because that chain that deals with the whole chain of custody versus France. Cool. Um, but also, pushing one explorer might not be nearly as good. Interesting. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, destroying... Well, that does that gets that job done? Um, it is a plant sun card. That's kind of cool. But going too hard on element doesn't really give us a. It just gives us toolbox, right? It doesn't win the game for us. So if there's better cards that are off element, we should probably take them. Like I'm looking at this visions of fiery doom. Since it gives us fear, uh, tormented rot flies, disease is just really strong versus France, preventing all those builds. Um, I'm gonna go with visions here for that purpose. Okay, let's see, we get the event, we skip, and then we build, and exploring the wetlands. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait, did I add in the presence there? That's not a legal placement. We'll say we went there. Uh, <laughs> whoops. I was thinking about Visions of Fiery Doom. All right, let's wake up. Let's get into it. Let's drink some coffee. This next turn, what do we want to do? So oftentimes you would open up with here and then you'd go for adding two presents off bottom track, overgrow, pick up this next one. Um, and that would give us access to a defend four, which would solve here. And it would, if we did that, that would give us a push and export and isolate. But that's not necessarily what we need. Um... But it is a good turn in general if we were to do something like this. Because the isolate doesn't do anything for us. And I guess, well, I guess defending four, we'd have to do this in order to get the defend four. But this is our damage dealing card, and I want to play it. Hmm. But that would give us this, which doesn't give us any marginal benefit. So I think we do this. Place a presence, and then we get the extra card play. And this extra card play one, we can place into a sands or a mountain. So I'm going to take the opportunity to do so, because it is a hard thing to get done. And... Uh, I'm going to add a wild here. No. Uh, because this is if there's adjacent wilds. And actually, I'm thinking maybe I want to add a wilds and an isolate by using this overgrow so that we don't get our wilds immediately consumed. Or I could just grow here and then not worry about the isolate since we know that this land can't explore. Yeah, we're going to do that. So that way we can guarantee the extra damage and fear from this card. Because getting those extra town kills against France, always important. 
add a wasp land without invaders. Hey, build a land with the most buildings. So we can put a um, city here. And then we can put a wilds. If we put a wilds here, now there's a wilds adjacent to every land on the board. Um, yeah, that's fine. Destroy two explorers, land with beast. And K to Han, great. Builds and exploring the mountains. Okay. So we got stem here, which will do one damage to each building. I actually think we can go here with it. Um, we can do belligerent and aggressive crops, add a wilds, fear, and two damage to that. Uh, and then... We could just push them to Han. Maybe I just push to Han this way to play to set it up for like a Slaves Rebellion or whatever else. Time passes. Um, but actually, no. On reclaim, we're only gonna have access to defend two because we wanted the extra card play. So I'm going to push this town this way so we can defend that land for two and life goes on okay reclaim gain a minor i like damage damage is very important for dealing with france so we can do that reclaim add a presence going here and uh we just need one water card Maybe do Fields Choke to push one of these towns out. The other one will die to Slave Rebellion. I think that's fine. Um, and now we can play any card. Uh, we've already got a Wilds here. That would give me an Explorer push. Which, pushing a single Explorer can sometimes be a bad thing against France. So I think I'm going to play the uh, take the opportunity to do something like a uh, Rouse the Stones. Or... Well, Belligerent Aggressive Crops also does two damage and it adds a Wilds. But the Sun, I think I want to hold on to for next turn, so that way you can get another Wilds. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, let's see, Wilds will go here. I'm planning on sacking a Presence to protect that land. And then Defend 2 will go here. Vader phase event. Uh, oh, great, exciting. We could pay all of our energy. And if we do, then no bad things are gonna happen. I could also discard belligerent and aggressive crops and only pay one energy, which I think is gonna be the play. To fear, add a disease. And we can skip a Ravage, but not for the ones that we care about. Okay, Ravage. Sack of Presence. City. Two Towns. And Exploring the Wetlands. Bam, bam, bam. Great. Um, see, we can push this here. We can do two damage and push an Explorer. Uh, as well go here so it's defendable. And we'll put it, we've already missed out on so much beast damage. Let's see if we can uh, uh, get some by chance. Okay. So now I could add a presence and then play an extra card and play all three cards on this turn. And if I were to do that, we would be here, which is fine, not sexy, but like it's 
fine. It would give us the defend two we need. We'd be able to let that Slayer's Rebellion defend this. Um, we could push out like this Explorer to prevent a town from being built. Uh, it's fine. It's not amazing. This doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, okay, so STEM doesn't even do anything. We're literally just playing for the elements. Let's consider something better. It's a very uninspiring turn. So instead, let's go for a major. And look at that, Vigor of the Breaking Game. Uh, <laughs> we don't have the elements we need to threshold it. We have no animal, little light on sun. But it is a very good card. Um, yeah, and it would actually just solve this land right here. It's definitely in the play. It's definitely a card that we could draft around. Maybe we just get rid of this Visions. That's fine. It served its purpose. And I'll go here. Bada bing. Bada boom. That's not going to do anything because it's... Yeah. Okay, so we'll go here. And we want to push for a fear card or a presence. Um, I feel like we go for a presence just so we can hit three card plays next turn. So I'll drop a presence right there. Uh, we get a wilds. Boom. Uh, event. Okay, Slayer's Rebellion. Next event. Ooh, a new one. Ominous Dawn. We have one uh, fear. So one fear per power card in play that generates fear in its instructions. So we get one fear. One damage in line with Badlands. Beast. Hey, look at that. Beast damage. And then we there is no Dahan. Okay. On each board with buildings and five or fewer Dahan, we have seven. So none of that applies. Uh, push or gather a Han. Great. We could finally bring these guys together. Ravage. Ravage. Build. Exploring the mountains. Wilds. And that. Cool. Slow phase. There is no effects. Reclaim. Gain a miner. And that is the card that we need for Vigor. I think I'll just hold on to that just because we can play these two plus another card. Because now we're on three card play. So if I go here, here, and a zero cost sun, or sorry, that, and a zero cost sun, that gives me threshold so I can kill everything, slide two to Han over, and then kill a city. Um, okay. If I do this way, kill these two towns, then we still have to build in the triangle trade, so we wind up in the same place, but like worse. Maybe. Hmm. If only we had another way to kill stuff fast. Because so I was going to say, we could slow push this in here, do the damage, and then split them, kill everything. Well, actually, we can. We can push these in, and then we can deal four damage, split them, to kill everything here on the coast besides, like, one town. Uh, which is a very good play, I think. Yeah. And you can go here. Okay, birds cry, and then... Uh, Vigor of the Breaking Dawn, do four damage. And then this way, deal six damage. This way, dealing eight damage. Uh, and we get a Wilds. Um, there. Event. Uh, we have four, five buildings. 
So that means we get nothing from bureaucrats. We only have one beast, and there's no Dahan in the wetlands. Uh, hey, we get to remove the town. Whoopa, we got a fully cleared coast. Strife in a land with Dahan, unfortunate for us. Ravage skip. Build exploring the jungles. Great. Slow phase. I'm going to push this town uh, out this way. So that way we don't need to worry about a city and a triangle trade. And then a defend four will solve it. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We need another water. I think... Do we go for a major? We, I mean, we already have our game-winning card, so let's just go for a minor. Um, maybe we do like a carapace land plus an overgrow in the night? Um, and because I don't really feel like going blighted if we don't have to. Yeah, so if we do this, 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 that's our another earth, so that solves that. Uh, we would be there for elements, and we could just play like this card here to pick up a wild, and then start to chip away at things. I think that's a good play. Uh, so we'll go here, gain, pay going there overgrow in the night put a presence here defend it for six um, and then we get to add a wilds uh, it's going to be a sands or a coast so no matter what we'll deny and explore there I think we would way prefer sands Stage two, it build in a terrain, okay. Beast deal two damage, okay. Mountain or sands gets a Dahan. Okay, Ravage does nothing. Build, and then exploring the coast. Okay. Then we have to build or in a terrain not shown under any invader action. So we can just build in the wetlands. Slow phase. We have two damage and push a uh, explorer. And then we also have um, fear and two damage. Uh, this is not adjacent to a wild. So anything besides here gets a fear and two damage. So I'm going to go here. Wild, fear, two damage. And then here, we'll just get to do two damage, push, and explore. Bam. Defend for two. That's solved. Let it build up. Whatever. We can then shoot it down with our major. And we are off to the races. So now we just need to not lose until then. Sky's Herald. Uh, we really don't need to worry about that. Um, although I think I'm going to take it. it we might go Blighted, but then it also lets us, lets us move some Dahan around, which I think we're in the business of. Okay, add a Presence. And... Uh, let's see... And we'll take the opportunity to hammer down on this land this turn. So we could do that. Um, that will do two damage. That's one kill the city. We're one damage shy. And it's in a blighted land. So I don't actually have the means to do any more damage. Uh, maybe I hit this in Nate. So with two more card plays, if we play two more suns and one more plant, I can downgrade. I could do like this, this, 
That would let me get the downgrade, the defend. We'd still have our vigor. We need one more sun for that, actually, but that's fine. We'll just gain another uh, card there. Yeah. Okay, Skies Herald, add a presence, push a blight. Um, we will downgrade a city. Wilds and uh, actually two wilds and isolate. So that is not exploring for the rest of the game. Um, and then we get to defend four. Cool. All right, what do we got? Replace half a city. <laughs> well, all right, that's that one. <laughs> We've worked so hard to downgrade, and we got nothing for it. Uh, disease and strife doesn't ravage, and push Tudahan from cities to elsewhere. Okay. Oh yeah, I went there, so I should have done that. Ravage the jungles. Build the coast. Uh, exploring the mountain sands. Isolated. Wilds. Wilds. Mountain. Thank you for playing. Um, okay. We can push three to Han. Let's bring these guys into the game. And then I guess we'll do this and this. And then we'll just like, uh, I don't know. Kill a city. But if we kill this city, it's just going to come right back. So we're going to kill that city. Time passes. We don't even need... I mean, there's no reason to try and um, threshold that. So let's just go for a major. Uh, accelerated Rot is a great solution for that land. So far away from all the Dahan. So let's pick that up. Uh, there's no way we can play it now, right? Like, yeah. If we had uh, fields choked. Okay, we'll save that for the future. So we could do that. We could do that for some fear. Um, and then I guess we do that. Birds cry just to push these guys in. There, do six damage. Uh, here to push these guys in. Uh, here for three fear. Oh, and we get to do a push and explore and isolate out of wilds. Um, we'll go here. So that way, if it explores, we don't need to deal with it before the ravage. Vader phase event. Oh, hey, I forgot about Slaves Rebellion. Whoops. Uh, destroy a town. Uh, add strife to any two buildings. So we'll add strife to these two, and then they get killed. Adding two more to Han. Terra level three. Next event. Uh, we have basically no explorers left. Uh, push to land without blights. Cool, cool, cool. De defend per to Han. Okay, Strife deals damage to other invaders in its land. So we'll Strife one of these cities and have it kill the other guy. Strife land with Presence deals damage to other invaders in its lands. Hey! So we'll go there, which will kill the Explorer and put a damage on him. Two lands matching a Ravage card, two damage per land. Nope. And... Uh, explore a town from any land or move a city from them with wilds, badlands, or dahan. There is a wild with the last city on the board, and that is a victory. That is uh, Tangles Green, a very different way of approaching green. Um, I went into this thinking that uh, this belligerent and aggressive crops would be like super overpowered. But in a way, it's basically the same as Rouse the Trees and Stones. And that's a sacred site requiring marginally restricted uh, two damage effect. Um, so good, right? But like 
you don't draft drows the trees and stones and be like i have won the game um it's just a good fair card that gives green something that doesn't have access to otherwise so uh i definitely maintain my position that's probably the best way to play green but yeah tell me what you guys think i hope you're enjoying all the new aspects have a great day guys